Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of First, the show where I, Marcus Jenez, gives you my first impressions on a game, and this here episode is all about Aztec Forgotten Gods, and <laughs> oh, this is not going to be a fun episode because I don't really have anything nice to say about this game. It is incredibly rough, and the only positive thing I can say is that you have this giant hand glove made out of stone thing and flying around the environment using it because it's got this propulsion ability in it that allows you to go really high or just fly around all Iron Man-y. That feels pretty good. Everything else in the game though is uh not the best. For one, it dumps so much story on you all the time over the course of the i don't know hour and a half i played it was probably whoo maybe i'm being generous here 75 percent story and i was skipping a lot of it at one point or at a certain point i just was like okay i want to get an idea of the gameplay but it just was story after story after story there were points where my objective was Go talk to this person. And then after I talked to them for what felt like 10, 15 minutes, the next objective after I finished that conversation was go talk to that person again. Mm -hmm. They're just, you know, in the next room. And I'm not lying. That's not like an exaggeration or me trying to be funny or just trying to get my point across. There were multiple points where that was literally what the game asked of me. Go talk to this character for an extended period of time Good, you did it. Congratulations. Go talk to them some more. So that's not the way I like the game to start out. I've gone over this multiple times. It is something that you will hear me talk about plenty of times, but I don't think it is good of a game to dump so much story on you at the very beginning because these are games first and foremost. I want to know how it plays. I want to know if I enjoy playing it because if I don't, I don't care how good your story is. And on that note, it's not that great of a story either. There's a lot of weird tonal things going on. The opening has you in the past or something and has this like metal music going on and it just felt really weird and did not fit at all. The performance is not great. I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X and especially in doors, there were points where it was really choppy and just it felt like there were constant little earthquakes happening at times when in really tight small spaces. Outdoors, it was better, but it still was just a little off. Visually, it's not impressive at all. There's no shadow to your character, so there's no sense of them being in this place, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. I know it's not probably the biggest issue, but I find shadows, especially being cast by you, to be incredibly important to making me feel like I'm in the place, like I'm here and not just like some weird object that doesn't exist in anything. But the visuals as a whole look worse than what I remember Jack and Daxter looking like. And I mean the original, the very first game, the one on PS2, not the HD remake. I don't even know if those were, I think those were kind of like, oh, these are a little iffy. But it looks worse than what I remember. It's got low quality textures, low quality pretty much everything. I think there's some cool stuff in the art direction and character design, but in execution, it doesn't lead to the most beautiful game out there. And the environments aren't that great. Your main hub world is just kind of, uh, it just did not impress at all. And then the gameplay, while the movement feels pretty good, the combat feels mindless and easy and just pointless because you lock on to your enemies and then you just mash the button and you're good. You're good. You don't have to really worry about taking damage. I didn't really think about anything and I just breezed through the whole thing. Got to the first boss fight, which was all right in terms of its design and its attack pattern and all that. It was at least somewhat creative, but at the same time was also very easy because it was just me going around and then locking on to points from 
20 feet, 30 feet away, you lock on to enemies from a very good distance away. And once you do, you just press that button and boom, you're there, you're attacking, and you kill them right away. If they're just a basic enemy, if they're boss, you know, you go through the whole process of attack, retreat, dodge their attack, go back and attack some more. And that's it. It's just an incredibly rough game that does not feel finished. I actually thought when I was playing it, uh, was there like a day one patch that I just did not get? Because... I had code for this game for a really long time, and maybe they just, you know, forgot to push out the day one patch that made it finished, because this is, this is rough. This is real rough. It just feels like a game that needs a lot more time in the oven to fully realize its potential, because there's stuff there I like. I really do like the movement a lot. I was having fun with that when I was just flying around the main hub world, your little hometown or whatever. I had a lot of fun with it. It felt good to move around. And in that moment, I was like, man, I wish every other part of the game made me feel the way this is making me feel. Because then I could really recommend this and I'd be enjoying myself. But it just dumps way, way, way too much story on you. All delivered via text and the usual like grunts or whatever. you know, <laughs> And then stuff like that. There's no voice acting. So it's, it's all reading and you just get all this lore dump and the combat is just super simple and really easy and maybe it changes after the opening few hours but if you can't grab me within those few hours why should i keep playing and that's the point of this series these are my first impressions the game could be amazing after this but i'm not going to stick around to see if it is and i don't think you should go through the trouble of playing through the opening bits in the hope that it might get better because why time is precious time is our most valuable resource time is something we can never get back and wasting your time is one of if not the worst things you could ever do so with that said i think your time would be better spent on something else and not as tech forgotten gods i think it would be best forgotten by you and not just the gods. I mean, the gods didn't forget. They were they were forgotten. So just think of these as gods and forget about them. Anywho, that will do it for this episode of First. Once again, I am Marcus Nez. Y'all can find me on Twitter and pretty much everywhere at PX Sausage. If you'd like to see me streaming games like Aztec Forgotten Gods, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash PX Sausage. If you'd like to check out the videos I'm making you aren't already doing so, you can do that over at youtube.com slash pixelated sausage. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, and all that jazz. That is again, youtube.com slash pixelated sausage speaking of pixelated sausage you can go there what's the what huh uh, pixelated sausage you put a little dot com that's what i want to say you put the dot there and you put the com there what do you got you got pixelated sausage.com my site and if you go there you can get more stuff like this as well as the art i'm making if you see something you like you can purchase a print piece you fancy and <laughs> if you fancy the site in general you can go over to patreon.com slash pxs and support us that away. As always, thank you for watching or listening. I hope you enjoyed this here episode and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye!